So hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're just going to talk about like how can you get started with freelance work? How can you get into computer vision, AI, and all those different things? There's a lot of benefits of actually like doing freelance work and especially remote work. You get a lot more freedom. You can like spend your time as you want to. You can work like wherever you want to. If you want to go travel for a week, work while you're traveling, like you can experience you're going to explore a lot of different kind of things. Right now, in the, I'm in Dubai. I'm doing like full-time. I have a full-time position, contract-based work. So I'm in Dubai right now. Everything is paid. I'm basically down here doing remote work or else I'm working from my from my office in Denmark. So it's pretty cool. Like we get a lot of different kind of opportunities. I can go down here, work full-time, and then I can go explore Dubai or whatever place I go to. Explore like after work. You can both combine like travel experiences um, travel, work, and all those different things. So it opens up a lot of opportunities. So I'll definitely recommend to you guys, like get started with freelance work, get started with building your portfolio. So we can, we're basically just going to talk about like, how can you get started with freelance work? How can you build your portfolio? How can you get to like a point where you can actually like, choose between different kind of projects that you get offered? And then how can you travel the world, be free, spend the time as you want to do, so it's really exciting. Like you can do it in many different kind of ways. I did it in the way with YouTube. I wasn't aware of the offers that I will get at the moment right now and definitely also in the future. I wasn't aware of that when I created a YouTube channel. I just created a YouTube channel to reach out to more people, like teach the, teach the stuff I know so people can get interested in it, get into new fields and learn a ton. And we also created some really not kind of nice and cool projects um, along the way. So I'll definitely say like, if you don't want to create a YouTube channel, I'll, I'll, I'll actually like recommend to create a YouTube channel just to get started. You'll learn a lot of new things. Like you will get better at uh, sitting in front of a camera, just pronouncing, like speaking and all the other kind of things that will also help you. But you, it is also a really good way to build your portfolio because people, they have problems. They search for the problems on YouTube. And then when they're searching for the problems on YouTube, they will find you if you're solving that problem. And then you'll just get views. It will scale over time. Like the videos I created in the start, they were so bad. Like the first videos I created, they are really, really bad. Um, the quality has significantly improved over time, but the first videos um, I created, they were really bad, but now they act like my highest performing and best performing uh, videos. I get a ton of views on those. It is basically just because it scales over time. Uh, the YouTube algorithm catches up. The more views you get, the more like exposure you will get, you will get as well. So it has a lot of different benefits. It was really bad videos, but those, those are my best videos now. And now I actually like, make um, an okay fair amount of money on those videos, even though I basically just started screen recording. I was going over the different guy like Fury, implemented some different stuff in uh, computer vision and deep learning. And now those videos are act like pretty popular. And you just keep creating content and you start just create content, get better at what we're doing. Um, and then it will just scale over time. You will, inc you will increase your quality significantly. Just try to improve for every video. If you want, if you don't want to go like in the YouTube way, you can also just like create some cool projects. Like do do what you like. Like in any area you're interested, you can basically like apply computer vision, deep learning, and all those different kind of things. So just create projects, like build your own portfolio, upload it to GitHub, create your create your like portfolio on GitHub. You can post it on like LinkedIn. Facebook groups and all those around things. Um, and then you can build your portfolio in that way if you don't want to do it with uh, YouTube. And then it will also scale over time. Like you can you can scale your GitHub portfolio as well. Um, you can get a lot of the cool cool projects. You'll also get followers in there. You can post your projects like just like cover short video, maybe just a screen recording um, of your project, throw them into LinkedIn, throw your LinkedIn channel and community as well. You will get a ton of offers from LinkedIn as well if you're actually like known by the world. So if you don't have anything out there, if you don't have a personal brand, it is just harder to, to act like get offers from others because they don't know you, that you exist. So try to get out there, try to get your name out there and try to like show the whole world that you act like exist and they should give you the offers. Create some cool, cool projects that you want to work on and then you will definitely get um, offers within that area. So that will basically be my uh, recommendation. I just really like this life here where we can do this remote work. Like a lot of people are like getting into remote work and it's getting more and more popular. Um, so it's a pretty nice area to get into and you have a lot of other opportunities, possibilities. You get way more feed freedom compared to going into the office. Um, you also have to commute back and forth between the office. You will waste a lot of time. And I also find myself more productive when I'm actually working from home compared to from the office because I have my own chair, I have my own keyboard, my monitors, my computer and all those other things. I just feel more comfortable. Um, so I act like I am more productive and efficient when I work from home compared to going to the office. 
um, and I don't have to spend that that many hours to actually like, get the work done compared to going to the offices. So I have way more freedom. I have more time to do other things. Um, so it's really cool to do remote freelance work. And again, even though you're doing remote work, you can ask the company to, to go there. In some situations, for some projects, it might make sense to actually like, get there, test out some different kind of things, just get to know the people, uh, go out, have, have some fun, just get better friendship, grow your network as well. Um, and you'll also just get a better relationship to the company. Maybe you'll get other projects in the future, or you might even be offered like full-time position. So it, it, it actually like, gives a lot of opportunities and possibilities. I wasn't even aware of that when I was building my portfolio and my YouTube channel to start with, but this is the opportunities that I have now. And it is actually like, um, it is actually like the best thing about my YouTube channel and just my personal brand out there. Um, at the moment, I get a lot of offers. I'm free to do whatever I want to. Like, if I don't want to take in in ed projects, I can just like have a YouTube, I can create courses, I can scale that over time. Of course, I won't get in as much money um, at the moment, but again, my YouTube channel, my course and all those other things, they will scale faster. So it will definitely be an investment for the future. So you have to take all these things into account. Of course, you need to put in the work to start with. You can't just like have a personal brand in a couple of weeks. You need to put in the work in the start. You won't get paid for any of it. But over time, I promise you that it will pay off. Just put in all the hours that you're able to and the hours that you want to. Of course, there will be some, some times where we just want to like, give up. You just keep on, you just need to keep on going. Don't quit. Like I act like had a year or like maybe a half to one year where I didn't want to like record any videos, but I just stayed dedicated. I, I wanted to grow this YouTube channel so I could get all these possibilities that I have right now. I basically just created like videos for half, half a year to a year. I didn't want to do it, but I still just kept posting like two to three videos every week. But again, at the same time, I was still like getting into the fields. I was researching new stuff. I was getting familiar with new technologies. So you're also keeping yourself up to date with the newest technologies, AI model, computer vision techniques, and all those different things by just like creating new channels, researching new things, and just setting it up. It's just really cool. And you get a lot of other different kind of like opportunities. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, I will definitely recommend you guys, like if you're interested in it, go for a freelance work, remote freelance work. You will get a lot of other different kind of like opportunities. Build your personal brand. It will never hurt to have a personal brand out there. Make yourself visible to the whole world and you can do like pretty much whatever you want. So thank you guys for watching this video here again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.